So we start with the base. We're going to un unwrap the base. This is probably extension. I never actually assembled the base, but I don't think so we're going to have any issue. It's the same as like we have like a 9 by 14. This is just a little longer. This is probably 9 by 7 plus you got extension. So it's pretty easy. So like I said again, don't mix the hardware. Go step by step and go with instruction first. Okay, doc. Free the hardwares. Uh, this is right here. You'll find a series of uh, L-shaped brackets. And they are zip-tied like this. You'll notice that there's a more zip-tied hardware inside. So if you decide to open everything and count it, make sure you notice it. Don't mix them together. Again, make sure you notice it that they are zip-tied. Zip so this is for the middle, this is for the edge, edges. Or this is actually for the whole thing. Okay, well, we're going to use this on that. And I'll show you how. So if you're planning to use the silicone on your greenhouse, that's where instruction is about all over the place. I would definitely suggest to wipe this with vinegar because there's a way to create these pieces. So many people are asking how to put this into this. Uh, and I will show you. This is a side piece. They are shorter and that was a longer piece. They are longer. So use this uh, alien shape kind of just to slide them inside here. That's for the corners. That's how to attach the corner. Don't break anything. Well, I'm here. Okay. Put this corner to this corner, just like that. And yeah, standing up. No, this is the two holes. Two holes, yeah. Yeah, so align these two holes with these holes. That's it. Yep, and use the nuts on this side to tighten it. So align this just like that, and on the other side. So this is go to your ground if you don't need it. If you go on concrete, you just cut it over here. And over here, and outside should be just like this. So again, if you reduce this, you have to cut it. If you use this, don't cut it. So tight it firmly. So it's all tight. Hold it on the other side. So tight corners firmly like this. That's the corner. It's One side is ready. And we go to another side. And of course you can do it right over there where you have place prepared. You don't have to do it right on the tables. So to make sure you don't break anything. Okay, so but we're doing on the table. Get out of the way. Duck, there you go. You need to assemble your extension. This is how extensions come together. You use uh, these brackets and put them at the end of seven footer. So this is nine feet long. That is a seven feet, and he's put it outside. And then the next piece is go on an extension, which is right here. And as many extension you have, you put them just like this and tie them together. So when you assemble it, uh, main pieces. For sand footers or the largest one that should be look like this I know it's a little bit of sticking out the bottom again you can dive this to the ground and fasten it with the concrete or you can just chop this off if you're on a wood platform 
and use whatever bolts and screws you want to fasten it, fasten it to our ground. So we got 28 foot over here. We'll have lots of stuff to go to. Uh, so we keep going, uh, doing other bays. So we keep open this seven footers. Each seven footer has like its own brackets, all zip tight, and have its own bolts. So don't forget that. Don't use this for anything else. It's a very important step. It's extensions. So now we got a large greenhouse with 28 feet, and it's only seven feet long. So we're going to go do extensions. So to do the extensions, you do have to use this bars again that come wrapped up with a separate package with extensions with the appropriate uh, amount of bolts and screws so please follow the instructions to assemble extensions and i will show you in instructions as i showed you a little before that's what it looked like your base is flat with the edge you can back it up a little bit like this because when you're gonna tie the front they're going to so leave a little bit over here spot since you're gonna tie at the front and they were going to be pulled back to each other so we got a better structure tie this better there you go so when you tie them together they will gonna pull back very hard so that's one of the extensions so put two next to each other, uh, like I said, this is the main base, this is extension, and that's how you tie the main and extension base with your hardware. And you go as far as you have to go, 21, 35, 42, okay. To do each extension as many as you got so we got another one over here in the box we're opening right now so you just attach two handle hands this is another extension so we got 20 feet total so each one of those has uh, two legs and each own hardware okay this is uh, step by step you made for instance this is 9 by 28 so each edge is two pieces attached to each other. Each extension kit has its own two items. Those two inches in level. So I don't get too paranoid. So I get I did exactly the same way all our grandfathers done. You do the chuck line. And then you go 45 from here to there, diagonal. And then you just like we keep line quarter from the top all the way down and uh, about level from the top here so right here all the way through to maintain the frame in level because we're going concrete over here this is post you can use some other ways this is just my imagination or oh, rebar Half inch and this is it's gonna everything's gonna be I'm not gonna even rub just pour concrete my concrete won't be falling apart later even if it will this shit he can pull it apart so same here everything's basically gently tied but to support the frame you have to sort of use the rock like right here and there so you can hold it at least temporarily as soon as you build a greenhouse you can spread the rock the way you want but for right now, we're going to be pour concrete. So we're going to fill this with a, a one and a half inch rock. So the concrete can go through. And then we'll go about the Portland cement. We're going to make it dilute like a really wicky bar, buttercream sort of, or sour cream, like a really thick cream, I would say. More of sour cream. And then pour it, like first of all, this line. After we finish this side, we're going to double check 45s diagonal. We'll again check that side for the level, even if it's already checked. 
and we're going to be aligned that line using this line same way and there you go pour the concrete on the other side and we can start probably assemble greenhouse today finish the second side and we just like even do this way but then you have to wash it with the clean it with shovel and wash this trucks with the water you can't be you cannot be doing it. It's gotta be clean like this so it's all level one at a time we pour concrete so we drove this is the line we use we're gonna get this line off right now and uh let me have another one just like this bring over some rocks it's all messed up outside and it's a little dirty but that's outside again and it's going to be covered anyway partially with the rocks it's too much too much let's get some concrete Take. We'll finish up the, the whole thing. Make sure it's clean from inside. It's outside is fine if you have concrete. So you're gonna cover anyway from outside. But inside has to be clean because you gotta put the bolts on those trucks. You can clean this out later with the brush and water when level is finished. Anyway. That's about it. I'm ready for the greenhouse. 9 by 28 virtual model. Excellent. Kakwanuski. Everything is drying and re dry. So, first of all, we assemble two. Pretty straight. We assemble two gables, rear and the front. They came from original uh, seven feet main house. It's not extension, it's just the main. We're going next. Next, you need to open extension panel to get some parts. So we tie this lightly, temporarily, so this piece can stay. And now we're going to we insert bolts we put like two three bolts in each bar and keep them in there so you don't have to slide them later and we did through the old perimeter everywhere I'll slide it there because you won't be able to do it later before you assemble so if you already put everything on you gotta lose over here and slide them through Okay, it's a break. Come on, bro.